Welcome everybody. Today we're going to be taking a look at how to use the wizard so you can start making slideshows faster and easier. Now you can open the wizard a couple of different ways. You can select the wizard icon here in your new slideshow window and then hit create or in the main interface select the wizard icon in your toolbar. As soon as the wizard opens the first step is to choose what photos and video you want to include. So to start adding your content hit the add icon. You'll need to browse to the location of your files, and as soon as you find them, select them and hit open. The wizard will populate your photos and videos into an easy to use thumbnail list, where you can adjust the order by dragging and dropping them into the desired position. If you wanna add text, hit the text icon. You can type in anything you like, and I'm gonna type in happy birthday, just because this is gonna be a birthday show. You can also position that where we like. If for any reason you need to remove something, select and hit remove. You can randomize the order by hitting randomize. You can rotate your images by hitting rotate. You can also edit your text. So if for some reason you made a typo or might want to add something, you can do that. And you can also edit your video files. So you can tell them when you want them to start and also when you want them to end. So after you've positioned everything you want and added all the content, go ahead and hit next. And this will take us to step two. Here's where we're going to add in our music. So just like step one, we'll hit the add icon find the music files we want to add and select them. You'll notice it'll import down here and as soon as it finishes you'll have this information of the tracks you've imported. If you have multiple tracks you can drag and drop them in the positions that you're wanting. You can remove the ones you don't like. You can also edit them. So just like video you can tell them when you want them to start and also when you want them to end. As soon as you've added in all your music go ahead and hit next to go into step three. And here's where you're going to choose your theme. And the theme is going to determine which effects the, the wizard's actually going to apply to your show. So you'll notice you have a wide variety of pre-made themes to choose from. And you can also add or create your own. So just hit the add icon if you want to modify your own. That's a little bit more advanced of what we're going for with this tutorial. So let's just go ahead and hit the birthday theme and hit next. This will take us to step four or our final details. So let's go ahead and name our show. So we'll call it birthday show. And we can also choose our energy level. Now the energy level determines the pacing of your show. So a low energy level means that your images will be displayed at a slower pace, while a high energy level means that your images will be displayed at a faster pace. For our birthday show, moderate to high should work well. So lastly, let's select an aspect ratio, either widescreen or standard. Widescreen sounds good, so let's hit that and hit create. And the wizard will now build the show using randomized effects and transitions associated with the theme we selected. So after it's finished building the show, we can now preview it to make sure everything looks great. And you can actually keep this initial attempt by the wizard, or you can also hit try again to tell the wizard to rebuild your show with another randomized assortment of effects and transitions. So you can do that as many times as you like, but as soon as you're satisfied with what it's created you, just hit next. And once you hit next, we are pretty much finished. At this point, you can save your show. You can also publish your show using any of Pro Show's different outputs. And you can also learn more about further customizing your show. Because at this point, when you hit OK and you hit Done, your show is in Pro Show, ready to work. So you can customize it to, to whatever level you need to. You can change your transitions. Just anything you want to do, it's in the program, ready to go. And that's all there is to it. So I wish you guys luck with your future creations and definitely try out using the wizard today.